Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Good evening to everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in with the Bibals Group Learning at Home session. So tonight, makakasaba niyo po ako. We'll be discussing about um, willpower. How we're going to have um, distraction detox through willpower. So let you uh, please let me share my screen now. Okay. So personally, I can say that this is very important, this is very relevant, because as we adapt to the new normal, as we learn at home, as we work at home, and as we see our children staying more time at home, it's very important to, to increase their focus, to detox their distraction, and to unleash their willpower so that they can face more tasks, they can be more productive as they stay safe at the comfort of your homes. So let me now start my presentation by introducing to you some outline, okay? So there are just three components of this discussion. We'll talk about the behavioral nature of distraction, what's the importance of willpower, and the practical tips on how to enhance one's willpower. So, um, I'm hoping that after my lecture, after my presentation, you can remember some tips on how you're going to enhance one's willpower. Let me start with this picture. So this picture is all about screen time, mobile phone screen time. I don't know if you are also checking your screen time on your mobile phones, but for me, let me check my screen time now. For this week, I think my screen time is, so I go to settings, then check screen time. It says here that um, it's eight hours and 15 minutes. I mean, that's huge, that, that's, that's high. I spend eight hours and 15 minutes of my 24 hours by just using my phone, okay? I can't imagine how long is that, okay? Well, the actual this is six percent lower than the previous week, so I'm improving in terms of my screen time because I know that eight hours is still high. You know, you only have twenty four hours, and I think that's twenty five percent of your day is spent all on your phones. No, so um, I am inviting you to become more healthy, to become more mature enough in regulating your time on social media, on your mobile phones, so that we can, you know, we can increase our focus, we can increase our performance towards our task management. Well, you know, I understand that there are also people who use their phones in working, like they call, they text, they monitor some updates through their messengers. Of course, we understand that's part of the work but I'm pertaining to some platforms like social media, games, and whatnot, especially to our children, to our learners, no? that they have to regulate their screen time so that they can be um, you know, healthily facing their tasks. Another one, sleeping, okay? So have you checked how much, you know, how much time do you need in sleeping? Mas napahaba na ba yung tulog natin ngayon na pandemic? Since we're not running after the clock anymore, we're not running after the bell, there's no attendance and so on and so forth. So, baka naman mas napahaba na yung tulog mo, like you, you, you sleep very early, then you wake up very, very late. Or ang late mo din matulog, ka sobrang late ka gumisin. Kasi you're not, you know, you're not obliged to report to a certain exact time, no? After one day or whatnot. So I'm trying to, to what I'm trying to point out here is that are we using our time appropriately, healthily, okay? Or we are doing something. So what what should we check? Are we going to reduce it directly, or are we going to check our behaviors, our coping mechanisms to make use of our time more healthy? Another one, binge watching. So maybe there are some students, some some adolescents nowadays who are you know um watching uh, movies a lot of movies in just one day that is a good one to two movies in one week Ngayon, yung, yung, 
target ng number of movies sa isang linggo, tinatapos na ng isang gabi. Lalo na ngayon, there are a lot of promising movies, series, and whatnot sa Netflix, okay? So, are we using our time the healthier way? Or um, may gagawin ba tayo na mas importante or you know, mas appropriate compared to watching th- these movies or oversleeping or overusing your phone? So I'm rooting from this, you know, from this um, discussion. Um, are we going to avoid these bad habits? Okay. So the, the the pictures I showed to you are some of the bad habits that we do in order to 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 spend our time. Okay. Now I'm gonna share with you a pattern about habitual attitude. So this is the habitual attitude pattern. Every behavior, every attitude, or every habit can be represented by this, you know, by this triangle, by this triad. So it's A, B, C, affect, behaviors, and cognitions, okay? So affect is what you feel, your feelings, no? Cognitions, mga thoughts, no? Your beliefs, yung mga inisip, no? Those are your cognitions. And behaviors are your actions. And these three components of a certain um, attitude or behavior is being activated by a precipitant or an event or an incident, okay? Like, for example, you open your portal, nakita mo na may announcement to submit a portfolio. That can be a precipitant, that can be an activating, you know, incident. So, pag nakita mo, nabasa ko, oh, portfolio will due after four days or portfolio will due on July 20. So, ano kaya yung immediate thoughts mo? Ano yung kaya yung mga immediate na isip mo? Pwede mong isipin na, ako, hindi ko patakos yung mga ibang worksheets. Baka hindi ko mahabol, okay? Naku, kulang yung oras ko. Those are parts of your cognitions. And anong mararamdaman mo if you think that way? Pwede na you feel worried, no? You feel sad because you're not yet ready for the submission. So, magkakatalo na ngayon kung anong behavior mo ba to cope with that feelings of being worried and thoughts, you know, of being not enough, okay? So, ano kayong magiging actions mo toward those affect and those cognitions? Are you able to, I mean, are you going to to to, to do some helpful behaviors or unhelpful behaviors? Because most of the time, what we do is we escape from it or we withdraw from it because we don't want to stay with the feeling of being worried, we don't want to stay with the thoughts of we're not enough and, you know, so on and so forth. So, dito nagkakatalo yung habits na minsan nasanay na tayo na if there's a challenge, if there's a task that we need to, to perform, that we need to complete, we have behaviors that are not really unhelpful, that are not really helpful. So, it it, it, it may, may turn to, to bad habits, no? bad habits that will not help us in attaining our personal goals. So kapag naipon-ipon, nauubos yung oras natin ng, ng paggamit ng cellphone, pagtulog, pagpanood ng movies. Just to escape from this, you know, painful feelings, to escape from these thoughts, nawawalan tayo ng, ng direction, nawawalan tayo ng, ng, ng helpful behaviors na sana kung ito yung ginawa natin, tinapos natin yung worksheet natin, maybe it could also could help us, no? So kung ganun yung mangyayari, it's just a cycle, no? Ulit-ulit na lang, hindi mo ginawa ulit yung worksheets mo. Bukas, may isip mo na may deadline. Yung, yung feelings mo ulit, I worried ka. Yung thought mo, hindi ka pa rin tapos, hindi pa rin um, sapat yung isasubmit mo. Then, ang behavior mo, habit nga eh, uulitin mo ulit yung, yung pagtakas sa kailangan gawin. So, in this pattern, I want you to understand that we're gonna inject willpower in order for us to have more helpful affect, to have more helpful cognitions, and more helpful behaviors, so that our attitude towards our task, our attitude towards our goals are more, I mean, are more helpful, okay? So para magiging helpful yung attitude natin, it's trying to inject willpower, okay? But before we will, to, to the concept of willpower, I want to ask you, if you had a chance to choose a superpower, which one would you pick? All right? Time traveler ba? Para mabalikan mo yung mga oras na hindi mo na-enjoy before? Or teleport pa para mapuntahan mo yung, yung, yung lugar na gusto mong puntahan? 
Okay? But dahil pag-uusapan natin ang, ang willpower, of course, pipiliin natin ang willpower. But ito yung sasabihin ko, our dear teachers, parents, and to our viewers tonight, there could be a great reason. There could be a big reason. Why willpower is a power? Okay? Bakit tinawag na power ang isang willpower? Because it can be really powerful. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng willpower? Willpower is defined as the ability to resist short-term temptations in order to meet long-term goals. Okay? Because most of the time, our minds, we as humans, are wired to choose short-term temptations in order to meet long-term goals. Kakain tayo ng dinner, kakain tayo ng lunch, okay? Mas pipiliin natin yung, yung, yung rewarding sensation ng pagkain ng maraming masasarap kaysa yung pag-isip na, oh, how can we be healthy after five years? How can we be healthy after three years? And so on and so forth. May example ako dito, no? Um, about uric acid, like, pag uh, kumain ka ng legumes, ng beef, no? Or too much meat, mga lamang loob and what not. Yeah? Yung legumes kasi, mahilig kasi yung family ko ng legumes, no? So, pag kumakain kami ng munggo, for example, munggo, ang sarap ng munggo, no? Eh, yung pagsakit ng tuhod mo, ay hindi mo naman yung nararamdaman agad-agad habang kumakain ka, eh. So, pag kumakain ka ng munggo, ang sarap ng munggo, hindi mo pa na-revisualize, hindi mo pa na-imagine, no? Hindi mo pa na-imagine yung, yung sakit, yung urot sa tuhod mo kapag kumakain ka ng munggo. So, ito yung sinasabi natin na if you have the willpower, you have the mature thought na you don't want to eat munggo because you don't want to suffer from, you know, from physical pain afterwards. Ganun din sa buhay natin, ganun din sa pag-aaral natin. We, we don't want to postpone, we don't want to procrastinate our task because we don't want to fail. Okay? Kaya natin na kontrolin isa alang-alang yung urge natin na matulog ng mas marami. Kaya natin isa alang-alang yung, yung urge natin na mag-cellphone kasi we choose to meet the long-term goals na matuto, pumasa sa subject areas natin. So that's willpower. So I'm asking you now, is your willpower high enough? Or your willpower is, you know, decreasing and decreasing and decreasing. Because tonight, I'm inviting you to unleash that power called willpower. Okay, why willpower is important? Generally, it's to optimize and improve general quality of lives. Because it, it's really powerful, you know. Because a lot of our, you know, activities in lives I, my decisions, we need to create decisions. And if we have the good dose of willpower, our decisions are guided by, you know, what is important, what is long-term, and what is mature thing to do. So when you have good, a uh, uh, good amount of willpower, then it could improve your general quality of life because you'll be more productive, okay? And if you are more productive, you can achieve personal and professional goals. And if you achieve some goals, you can increase your self-worth or your self-worth. Mas okay yung pagtingin mo sa sarili mo because you, 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 you produce something, you, you achieve some tasks, and professional goals. Huh? If yung tao ay, uh, ay okay yung self-worth, most probably ang kanyang defense mechanism ay healthy din. Healthy din, okay, sorry. So, healthy din yung coping mechanisms, like, it will lead to healthier physical health. And most importantly, it will also lead to happier social relationships. So, you know, it's very evident why willpower is very important, very beneficial to improve our general quality of life. Okay? So, Mm, for us to, to understand more why willpower is important, what's the use of willpower, and so on and so forth, I'll be presenting some few fascinating studies on willpower. First study, Stanford Marshmallow Test. I know that most of our viewers are familiar with this experiment by Walter Mischel, so I'll just you know um, tell the story, um, just a brief story about the marshmallow test. So, paano ba ginawa nila sa marshmallow test? 
That's true. There's a marshmallow. So they invited children to, to uh, participate in the test. So when they had the children, it explained sa kanila yung instruction. Sabi nila, you will be receiving a sweet reward, which is the marshmallow. You can eat it right away. Okay? But if you can wait 15 minutes without eating your marshmallow, you will receive another marshmallow or they will double the marshmallow for that kid. So, maraming mga kids hindi nakatimpe, kinain na yung marshmallow without the 15 minutes. Marami rin kids na kinayang maghintay ng 15 minutes. That's why their, their marshmallow got doubled, okay? But you know what? The study did not end from there. It was a long-term study. So, after several years, their lives got also evaluated. And it was found out that those children who were able to wait 15 minutes or who got doubled their marshmallows, I must improve ang kanilang quality of lives, must productive, must um, achieve sila in their um, chosen professions, in their, um, in their school performances. So it says here that when you have the power, when you have the willpower, or when you have the ability to resist that, you know, that urge or that temptation, it can also symbolize or it can also imply that later on in your life, you can, you can make better decisions, you can say no to temptations and focus on what is practical, focus on what is more helpful to do. Another study, the Cookies and Radish Willpower Experiment by Roy Baumister. Okay? So itong experiment naman na ito, I, yes, willpower is important. A lot of studies support that willpower is really important. But this study is somewhat different. Okay? Kasi sa experiment na ginawa, they invited participants, of course, then they were asked to solve a puzzle. Okay, so there was a challenge. There was a mental challenge. That's the that's the puzzle that they need to solve. Okay, so while they are solving the puzzles, they got exposed to the aroma of the cookies, the radish, and so on and so forth. So mapango yung cookies, no? And uh, of course, they are free. They have the freedom to, to eat the cookies. But if they if they can regulate or pwedeng magtimpe na to eat the cookies, then they can do it. And it was found out in the study na yung mga nagtimpen, huwag kainin yung cookies, huwag kainin yung cookies. It was found out na mas mabagal sila tapusin yung puzzle. Pero yung mga bata naman, yung mga participants naman na kumakain ng cookies, hindi nakapaghintay na matapos mo na yung puzzle, was able to solve the puzzle, you know, the faster speed, no? So, ang gusto ng ipakita dito is that if the exp exposure for for you know for um, sensations like this or the the um, temptations, pag mas mahaba kasi yung exposure ng temptations, our brain will also get exhausted. Ang willpower ay gumagamit ng brain energy para makapag-focus din tayo sa task natin. Pero if the willpower exhausted or used too much brain energy to finish the task, ay hindi rin uubra yung willpower. What's the point here? Okay? Kailangan ba natin na i-attend na lahat ng temptations para hindi mapagod sa brain? So anong matatapos mo pag ganun? The point here is that we have to become strategic enough in using our willpower. We have to become effective enough in um, in regulating our self-control. So hindi lahat kinocontrol or hindi lahat ng oras in-expose natin yung sarili natin sa mga temptations. For example, no, kapag nag-work ka sa, sa bedroom mo, no, so nandun yung laptop mo, nandun yung books mo and your worksheets, pero sa likod mo meron kang kama. Nandun yung bed mo. So, dalawa yung kalaban mo. Either you stop working on your studies or you go to your bed and, you know, matulog ka or humiga ka, no? If ganun yung sitwasyon, the brain can be exhausted. So, 
willpower might not be strategically used kasi ang daming temptations. My point here is that if you have the option not to expose yourself in too much temptations para makapag-focus ang task at magamit yung necessary brain energy for your willpower, then do that way. Hindi yung pupunta ka sa mall para mag-review. Kasi sa mall, parang ang dami ng temptations. The people passing by, the food that you want to eat, the, 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 the garments that you want to see in the shops. No? Those are all temptations. At mapapa, kahit mataas yung willpower mo na, oh, hindi ako kakain, oh, hindi ako mag-shopping, oh, kaya ko makipag-usap sa ganyang tao. But the brain is already consuming so much energy to help you control the, those temptations. Okay? So again, there's a need to use our willpower more strategically. Last study to, to share, studies on willpower by Veronica Job. Okay? Ito naman, very simple study. She was able to find out na the participants who have beliefs na ang willpower daw ay fix, hindi na enhance, when it was found out na their willpower didn't change. It was, you know, it was stagnant and they have lower lower performances on their productivities, okay? But yung mga participants naman daw who believe that willpower can be changed, willpower can be enhanced, was able to increase their willpower levels and they were able to, to produce more, you know, outputs from their performances. So my point here is that willpower is not given, willpower is not fixed. I'm inviting you to, to believe in yourselves that your ability to control things, your ability to, to control yourself, not to enter into those temptations, not to enter into those bad habits, is still workable. Okay? Huwag mong sabihin na, oh, ganito talaga ako eh. Talagang mahaba, matagal akong matulog eh. Marami akong kinakain talaga eh. Okay? Start from there because we know that there will be long-term effects afterwards. Okay? Because willpower is not fixed. It can be exercised. It can be enhanced. And that's the next part of our discussion. Practical tips to enhance willpower. Okay? First one, set realistic goals. So willpower will only work the effective way if they know, if you know that your goals are realistic enough. Because if you are setting unrealistic goals, hindi pa nagiging uumpisa yung laban, talent. Okay? Sabi ko nga sa inyo, brain energy to be used by willpower is very important for us to become more productive. Okay? Second one, develop your own reward system. I've mentioned a while ago that our brain, we as humans, are you know wired to, to choose you know short-term temptations no? rather than the long-term rewards. Kaya, you should be strategic enough to reward yourself para hindi rin kakapagod, kakakontrol, and kakakontrol. Okay? So you can devise your own reward system. Like, for example, if you have a bigger goal, or a mother goal, you can chop that goals into smaller chunks of goals. And after you complete one small chunk of goal, you reward yourself. And that, you know, that experience will be learned by our system, by our, you know, by our body na, oh, there are rewards, even if it's not yet too long. You know? So again, develop your own reward system is very important to help you um, allocate your brain energy to your willpower. Exercise daily. We have, you know, we have two points for the exercise daily. First point is that exercise willpower every day. Alam ko and I understand na <clears throat> using willpower is not that immediate na meron na. Like when you decided na, oh, I want to become more self-disciplined, to become, you know, have more self-regulation now. Hindi ganun yun kaagad-agad. It takes time, you know, it takes practice, it takes patience for you to exercise the use of willpower every day. Okay, another point of exercise is that the physical exercise. Why? Why? Physical exercise can be a training to your, to your willpower. Because when you exercise, of course, 
you need to exert effort. While you exert effort, you have to endure the pain. You have to endure the discomfort. And that's the that's the represent, representation of life. Now, when we achieve, when we need to work for something, we have to endure the pain. We have to endure the discomfort. And that's the perfect time when when willpower can also train in our body. Okay. Another benefit of exercise, like I mentioned before, when you exercise, especially cardio exercises or exercises that require, you know, that will make your um, uh, heart beat a bit faster, okay, or exercise for your heart, ay nakakatulong din for the brain. We call it, you know, the uh, the cardio exercises can increase the the BDNF the, or the brain neurotrophic factor in your brain. No, it's a, it's a protein in your brain that can serve as nutrients to your brain cells so that it can function well when you think, when you work, and so on and so forth. Another tip for you to enhance your willpower is feed your brain the right food. Okay. Um, again, it should be regulated amount. There are studies that would suggest that when you eat something sweet or that can increase your blood sugar, it can also help your willpower. It can also enhance your willpower. But if it's too much, not too much of the, the blood sugar, it will also lead to, to more emotional states, no? more irrational states. Kaya mas pinipili mo ulit yung irrational decisions, yung mga temptations, yung mga short-term rewards. Okay, so figure your, your brain, the right food is also a good practice for you to enhance your willpower. Train your willpower, but don't overdo it. Like I've mentioned sa experiment kanina ni, ni Roy, na, don't overdo the, the training for your willpower. Kasi ang pagtitimpe, ang pag self-discipline ng, ng sarili can really be exhausting. That's why we need to be strategic enough on how we allocate those of brain energy. Okay, I want to end my presentation with this quote by Mahatma Gandhi. And he says that strength does not come from physical capacity, but it comes from the indomitable will, which is the will power. Again, it's not about the physical strength. It's not about your talents, your skills, your intelligence. Those are all useless if you don't have the will power to, to use or to utilize those skills intelligences and talents to become more productive, to become more committed with your life goals. Again, thank you very much for tuning in again with Bibala Group Learning at Home session. So wishing you to stay safe and stay hopeful. And I hope you learned something from this session. And again, this is John R. B. Galicia, your speaker for today. Bye-bye.
there we have it in behalf of the group